Let's look at a galvanic cell where we use concentration difference instead of two different cell components. So the, on each side, we have a copper ion, copper metal half cell. The only difference is the concentration on each side. What would the cell potential be? Would that be greater than, equal to, or less than zero? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, copper plus two ions will tend to flow to the left, which is a non-spontaneous reaction, so delta E is less than zero. B, this cell has no potential because copper half cell is used twice. Or C, copper plus two concentration should equalize. So current flows to the right, and that means delta E greater than zero. Think about those three and make a selection. We're looking at a cell where the difference is the concentration of the ions on either side. So the overall cell reaction is just high concentration copper going to low concentration copper. And we know intuitively, if we were to mix these two, that's what would happen. The concentration would equalize. So intuitively, we know the concentration here of copper ions will decrease, and the concentration here will increase. But how does that correspond to a cell potential? Well, let's look at that. If we look at our Nernst expression, we would say the standard cell potential for this is zero, because the standard cell potential is the copper metal and copper ions, where the copper ions are at one molar on both sides. That would be zero potential. We don't have one molar on both sides. We have 0.1 molar and one molar. So we have a situation where we have reactants over products, the Q inserted here, and that Q is less than one. That means this natural log term is negative, so the overall potential difference is going to be positive. So a positive cell potential difference in our convention means current flows from left to right, and that we understand. Current flowing from left to right would have an oxidation occurring here, copper ions being oxidized to copper metal, reducing the concentration of copper ions. So this all hangs together, and we understand for this cell that the cell potential is greater than zero.